is uh, Laura and uh, Laura is looking for the magic posture to solve uh, problems uh, related to um, the posture, I guess. And uh, you told me that you had a bit of trouble over the last, what, years? Or? Yeah, a couple of, uh, for a long time um, I've always had a lot of problems with my neck being really sore whilst playing. Also, I can never get it to sit comfortably. I can never feel uh, comfortable and confident in how I'm holding it. Yeah. And that I always tend to grip too hard and hold my fingerboard wrong because I'm not comfortable with how yeah. I'm holding my neck. Yes, did you feel that you have to hold up the violin? Yeah, I feel like I have to hold it up and then I always end up clamping down on it instead of actually holding it properly. Mm. But so. you did use shoulder rests, right? Yes, yes. Oh. yeah, I've used a Johnson at the moment and then I tried one of the Wolf ones, um, yes. the straight one and that didn't work very well. Either. Yes, and the Johnson is really um, a shape that's very similar to the Kuhn. Yeah. It's just a yeah. cheaper version. Yeah, yeah, you know. but it's it's yeah definitely not long enough for my neck. It's I see. way too yeah. short. All yeah. right. Now we try to see if the magic uh, posture will work for Laura. Now here's the um, Wolf Forte Secondo as it comes in the package, and what I say uh, is the best chinless to go with it is this Tekka shaped chinless. So that will be the first thing that I do. I will put a Tekka chinless on your violin. You have one that's not too bad, but it it should really go over the tail piece. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do this, and then we'll we'll continue with this uh, clip. The the best tool for me to tighten chinless is half of a s set of pliers. It looks like this. It's brilliant. Uh, and all the other ones that I have tried that are m made for this, uh, they are too weak. So this one really works well. So one has to be careful not to over tighten. Sometimes the Tekka chin rest tends to touch the tailpiece and we have to prevent this of course otherwise it will buzz when you play. So right now it is not touching it. Yeah, that's okay. The magic follows in one second. So the first thing is that we Bend this side and we twist this side here like this and now you see how the feet stick out so I will put it back like this and also bend this one a little bit back here in another video I'm a bit more specific but this will be our first go and see whether it is long enough uh, for uh, Laura's needs. Chances are it is too short and then we just need the extensions. All right, so let's put it on the violin. Okay. So Now you have a, a fairly strong color bone here. Yep. So you have to try to sort of go past it. Let's see whether this works. And is there any place on your shoulder where you feel it just pushes into your chest or shoulders? No, uh, it feels, it feels, yeah, no, it feels good. pretty good. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, if it was but higher. Why do you say pretty good? Why don't you say it's totally good? Oh, it's totally good, but I don't like to use absolutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. It I want good. to use the absolute. <laughs> no, it does. It feels, it feels really good. from what I was going from before it was so horrible and now it, yeah no it definitely feels really comfortable so good excellent thank you very much Laura That's okay. Thank okay. You. See you.